Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize the Quick Access Toolbar. Let's get started. So the Quick Access Toolbar is in the top left of your screen and it's above the ribbon. And it contains the Save, Undo, and Redo icons by default. But you can actually customize this to have any buttons that you want listed up here. And you can even customize the location to be below the ribbon as well. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to change the location of it and so that all you have to do is click on this little uh, drop down arrow that says customize the quick access toolbar and then you can choose from a list of commands but you could also choose the very last thing which is show below the ribbon and if you click this it'll bring the commands to below the ribbon. Now think about this two ways. If you bring it down here one of the great things that you could do is customize this with the buttons that you use all of the time and then that way you don't have to really use the ribbon too much if you don't use too much of word this may be a good option for you to customize it with just the buttons that you use regularly but the bad thing about this is since it's now below the ribbon and it's not up here at the top it's actually going to take up more real estate on your screen so if you're using like a small screen or something like that uh, it's going to take up about an inch of space right up here at the top so just make sure that you choose the uh, area that's the best for you on this. Personally I like it up at the top so to move it back you would click this drop down menu right here that says customize quick access toolbar and you would put show above the ribbon. So either way is fine. Uh, for this tutorial I'm going to uh, show you with everything at the top and then I'll move it down to the bottom at the end. So now what we're going to do is I want to show you how to add buttons or add commands to your uh, quick access toolbar and so one thing that you could do is if you click this drop down arrow it's going to give you a list of popular commands and so I could go right here and let's say I wanted uh, print preview and print to be one of the default buttons up here I can click this and it's going to create the button just to the right of the previously uh, or uh, just the right of the last listed button and when I click this it's going to take me directly to preview and print so right there there's our print preview looks good so that's one button to go there rather than having to click file print Okay, so you can see uh, if you customize this well, it actually save you a lot of time. Now, one of the other things that you could do is you could actually customize not only buttons from this list on this dropdown, but you could actually put any of the commands on the ribbon into this area up top. So let's say I went to the design tab and I wanted the paragraph spacing button to be uh, listed into the quick access uh, toolbar. Well, all you have to do is right click any of the buttons, in this case the paragraph spacing button, and then from here I click on add to quick access toolbar. And you'll see that that button gets added right up here. Okay, you could do the same thing with say the watermark button. And notice that when you hover over the watermark button, it tells you about the watermark button. And if I right click it and I go to save or add to quick access toolbar, and now I hover over it over here on the quick access toolbar, it's still going to give me that screen tip. So it's pretty useful having these things up here. And if I click it, I'm going to see it right there. Now, again, this can save you a lot of time because let's say I'm in the home tab and now to do a watermark, all I have to do is click on the watermark button and it'll display my watermark gallery rather than having to go to design tab, page background group and clicking watermark. So you can see that if you, this is well customized, you can actually save yourself a lot of time. Now the next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is um, I'm going to show you a couple different things that it reacts to with say something like the ruler. So the ruler is in the view tab. And if I go to the ruler uh, in the show group and I click this checkbox, you're going to see that the ruler displays. You could actually set this to be up here as well, but I'm going to show you one of the downsides. If I right click ruler and I click add to quick access toolbar <clears throat> it's going to add it right up here to the top and it displays it as a checkbox but since my background is blue in Word for some reason it defaults to my text being black up here which is very difficult to see this is a problem that we don't have when the toolbar is listed below the ribbon as you can see right here it says ruler no problem and I could check it to turn it on or off so again if you don't want to have to go to the view tab every time you could add the ruler there all right, I'm going to move it back above the ribbon, and so you can see that, again, it's in black. So it is more difficult to see there. All right, but again, you still do have the checkboxes there, and you can customize it that way. Now, one of the other things that you can do is you can customize it even more by going to the uh, uh, Word Options dialog box. Now, to go to the Word Options dialog box, you can either click right here on Customize Toolbar and go right down here, or uh, to... Uh, actually, it's not listed here. You could how can we do that? Oh, you can uh, right click any of the buttons in here and go to customize quick access toolbar. 
So again, you would just right click anywhere in the toolbar on any of the buttons and click Customize Quick Access Toolbar. However, another way to get there is to go to the File tab, Options button, and then choosing the Quick Access Toolbar from this area. Okay, So I'm going to use it the other way by right clicking any of these buttons and going to Customize Quick Access Toolbar. It takes us to the same place. Now within here we see that the right side are all of the commands that we currently have listed within our Access Toolbar and then on the left side are a list of popular commands. So these are the most used commands from Microsoft Office or in Word in this case but if I wanted to see all of the commands possible I could actually click this drop down arrow and go right here to all commands because let's say that I wanted something that wasn't necessarily on my ribbon and something that I don't use too often, something like grid grid settings. And so I could actually go right here and scroll down and it's in alphabetical order. And let's say that I wanted grid settings to be in my um, in my quick access toolbar. I could click grid settings here on the left side and so it's now highlighted and then click add. And notice it'll add to the last spot on the quick access toolbar. So this goes from left to right as you go up to down. So you can see save is on the left and grid settings would be on the far right. All right, so there we go. So I've added grid settings. Uh, now let's say I wanted to add in paragraph spacing. The cool thing about using all commands here is that all of your commands that Microsoft Word has within it are all listed. So I could go right down here to where paragraph settings would be, okay, or rather paragraph spacing would be, and I can click on that, and I could go right here and click add and it says I already have it on my quick access toolbar. So if I already have it on the right side and I try to add something that's already there, it's going to flag that and it's going to say, no, you already have it over here. And now I can see, oh, paragraph spacing is right here. Now one of the cool things that you could do is you can change the order of it by clicking and dragging or by going right over here and clicking move down. And so that'll move it down below grid settings. And now it'll be on the far right of my quick access toolbar when I do that. Now, sometimes the buttons are pretty close up here, as you can see. You could actually insert a separator. And so if you go to the top of the list of commands, you're going to see separator is right here. And a separator will give just a little vertical line of space so that you don't accidentally click the wrong thing. If I have just a couple commands up here, I could put a separator in between everything if I wanted to. Or I could separate based off of the type of um, buttons that they are. So I could have a separator between my paragraph or font buttons, and I could have a separator for all my layout buttons. And uh, So that way, if you don't want to use the ribbon as much, you could actually use this uh, as a good method to help you keep your uh, buttons organized. And so what I'm going to do in this case Okay, so I'm going to put a separator uh, between the original commands, uh, save, undo, and redo, and the commands I just created. And so I click on redo, and then I click separator, and I click add, and that's going to put the separator right below redo. And so the separator will be applied when I click OK. All right. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put two separators in, in between watermark and ruler. So watermark is right here, so I click on separator, and I'm going to click separator add, and add one more time. And now I'm going to click uh, OK so that you can see what it looks like. And up here, you can see that the separators are now vertical lines. And so those don't really do anything. If I click on them by mistake, it doesn't really do anything. So basically, this is a good way for you to organize um, in between or organize between your buttons and maybe the types of actions that they do. Now I'm going to switch it to being back below the ribbon and you can see what that looks like. Notice that the separators don't show up with vertical lines but rather it's just separation between your different commands in this area. Okay, uh, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring back open that word options dot or the customize uh, uh, quick access toolbar dialog box by right clicking on any of the commands and going to customize quick access toolbar. I click on that. It's going to open this back up and I'm going to show you how to change some uh, other things in here uh, like back to its default configuration. So if you've edited all this and you don't really know what it initially started out as or you added things in here by mistake and you just want to uh, change this back to its default settings, you can go right down here to customizations and click reset and you can click Reset only quick access toolbar. Be careful about resetting all customizations because if you've reset your or uh, customized your ribbon at all or anything like that, uh, it's going to change that as well. So I'm going to go to reset only quick access toolbar. I click that and it's going to say, are you sure you want to uh, restore it to its default contents? And I'm going to click yes. And now you'll see it's back to how it was when we just started out. 
and then I click OK and you'll see that it does not change its positioning but rather that just changes it back to how it was. Now I'm going to redisplay it back above the ribbon and you'll see everything is back to its default settings. So I hope this has taught you a little bit more about that uh, <coughs> excuse me about that uh, quick access toolbar and what it does and how to customize it and maybe you can uh, figure out some ways to create some shortcuts on some popular tasks that you use. So if this video has been helpful for you please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and if you have any questions put it in the comment section I'll try to get back to you. Have a great day.